Making things in Illustrator for ZBrush. So now I'm going to expand your workflow a little bit and add another program onto the mix. So what I'm going to do here is make a new document with an Illustrator and show you how to put it in there. So I can close this stupid window out and go File, New. I'm going to base this on pixels, which is right here. And it's going to be 2048 by 2048. Hit OK. So now, well, there's so much to do in Illustrator. I could show you all day long. I do have Illustrator tutorials out there, but I'm going to streamline this one to a uh, workflow between ZBrush and Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is grab the ellipse tool and just make something kind of screwy. Like I'll just take this one, switch the colors so it's black, and I'll show you some of the tools that you can use. They're all in here. These tools right here. So let's take Pucker and Blow for instance. If I hit preview, I can go like this and I can create all kinds of goofy shapes. And all those goofy shapes can make be made into brushes, they can be made into uh, geometry, you name it, they can be made into it. I think I'll go with something like this. It's kind of interesting to look at. Hit OK. Maybe I don't like the center. Maybe the center needs something that's just a little bit different. So I'm going to draw another ellipse in here. And if I want to draw that ellipse based on the center, I hold Alt and Shift. Okay, and then I can fill that one with white. kind of interesting what happens here let's say I take this and make it a little bit smaller it's a little bit too big maybe I group that together now I have one part now let's look at the effects what can we do with it let's go to transform for a second under transform we have preview so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to say well you know just maybe make a uh, one copy and transform that maybe 100 pixels horizontal. If I mess around with these settings right here I can base it off different axes and if I rotate it I can rotate it around maybe if I rotate this uh, 10 degrees that will rotate it just a little bit, 10 degrees. Okay. If you put this up to like 100 copies, it's going to make this. Oh, isn't that cool? Okay, let's hit OK. I like this. Wouldn't that be cool for a piece of geometry within ZBrush? I mean, look at all the sweet looking holes here. I like it. The only thing is, maybe, uh, well, it's kind of awkward because maybe I want this at the top and I can use this as a detachment for some kind of chain maybe later on. So what I'm going to do here is expand this out. So I go expand appearance. Now I can rotate this. Holding shift, I'll just rotate it around. Now that thing's at the top. Or I can custom rotate it so it's absolutely at the top. And I can use a ruler because those are really handy. And what I could do is now align that to the center of that hole. This is just me being a little picky at this point, but it gives you some idea on how to motivate or ro rotate around things. Good. I like it. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's go like this. Export. I'm going to export this as a Photoshop document. And I'm going to export it onto the desktop. Sure, Untitled 1. 
screen, I'm going to have to use 72. Here, I'm going to have to use RGB. I want a flat image. And I'm going to hit OK. ZBrush, let's see what happens. Let's take and load it as a texture. You're going to find something weird happens because you exported it using um, Illustrator. It's not going to quite fit. So I have this over here. Here is my board. And then I'll turn my texture on and let let you see what it looks like. See? Doesn't quite fit now, does it? The reason for this is Illustrator always crops things off based upon the last pixel. Okay, in other words, if I fool the system by going into here and taking a rectangle and putting it out to the outside edge, I take this rectangle and I fill it with uh, white and have a black border. The border, it doesn't have to be hardly anything. It could be a point like point zero 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 one. Okay, making it uber thin. This button will make it so the angle of stroke is on the inside. And now I can actually export that out. I had to show you the other way because, you know, you just wouldn't have understood without it, I think. So, JRGB, flat image, and Ielis. Now when I import it back into ZBrush... and then launched it over here, you'll find it works quite well. And I almost got it perfectly lined up just based on virtual memory of my own part. So uh, in the next video, we take it and expand it out and see what happens.